gonna be round my vegetables. I'm gonna chop down my vegetables. I love you most of all, my favorite vegetable. Garden dude here. I'd like you to introduce you to a wonderful new garden technology. This is called the Garden Tower Project. Uh, it began last year as a Kickstarter project, and the intent was to eliminate world hunger. It's also really good for gardeners because it has a number of things. First of all, you can see it has five rows of pockets, including a top where you can grow plants. Each row has nine pockets, so that gives you a total of 50 plants that you can put in this thing. It takes up four square feet, and it has a number of incredibly interesting innovations. Uh, for one thing, uh, you can open up the center section, and this is a about a six, seven inch uh, PVC food grade pipe with holes in it. So this is where you put your garbage, your kitchen scraps, and worms. Since it's perforated, the worms then can crawl in and out into the soil and you're providing your own source of organic fertilizer. When you get this, the first thing you do, of course, is uh, set it up, put the legs on it. In my case, I had one of the original legs removed, an extended one put on, so I could lay it here, I could set it here on the bench where it gets the most sun. Uh, each of these uh, pockets, uh, I experimented by simply uh, filling it up with the best possible uh, soil that I could find, soaking it over a few days to make sure the water got evenly distributed throughout it. By the way, uh, the water does drip down into a catchment container so that you're not losing any of the nutrients. The nutrients all come down through the soil, capture them, you put them back in there. Uh, they recommend that you put uh, seedlings in this to make sure that it all grows. I'm experimenting just putting seeds in. The soil stays nice and damp, and I squirt it every once in a while with a mister, and it's starting to produce seeds now, about maybe 10 days after I first started putting the seeds in. So we'll see how that goes. That's one of the experiments. So a marvelous new technology. Uh, you think about how much labor this saves. No gopher problem, no weeding problem, if you have any kind of deer or rabbits coming around, very simple to enclose it with a simple fence. If you have any birds come around, very simple to just hang uh, a net over it. So absolutely simple maintenance. Once a plant finishes its productive cycle, you simply cut it off, leave the root in there to rot and become part of the soil, and then stick a new plant in there. So ongoing, constant uh, harvesting, constant planting, very little maintenance. One of the other features that is so good is that it's incredibly water efficient. This is one of the reasons why it was designed to be used in third world countries where they don't have fertilizer, where they don't have a whole lot of water. So this way they're maximizing the use of the resource. By the way, when you first get it, be sure that you do not put any kind of synthetic fertilizer in it because that will not allow the rich compost and all of the different microorganism communities to develop. Uh, see the Garden Dew video on compost tea, and you can see how you can actually make your compost into a community of organisms that will make it healthy, make it detoxify things, and also provide all the nutrients to the plants. So, Garden Tower Project, go to their website, gardentowerproject.com. Uh, I'm very excited about this, and I will continue to video how the plants thrive in this thing, and uh, I'm going to track how much uh, productivity it makes also. I'd like to show you a couple of tricks that I've already learned as I'm developing this thing. For one thing, I wanted to uh, be able to identify what plant was in each pocket, because I forget that kind of stuff. So on each row, I, I label the rows A, B, C, D, E, and then the top. Then each of the pockets I numbered around the circle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So each pocket then has a number and a letter. And I very quickly, when I started planting, I realized, okay, well, here I am four. Oh, where'd it go? Is it four for this one or is it four for this one? So I realized I have to train myself to have a system. 
So on the top row, I simply put a line, say three, yeah, it's that one. Okay, four, it's that one. So that way I know it's always to the left. Then I have a, a spreadsheet that I keep track of each of these, what I planted, when I planted it, and then as I start harvesting, I will be weighing the amount of food that I get and having an actual productivity index for this. So uh, these are some tricks I think will help other people that are starting up not get confused by having 50 different plants in four square feet. I have my poor old earth flag. Like our mother earth has seen better days, has been abused, is kind of tattered and torn. And this probably is the best reason why we need to malama mother earth. And we